Robert Compton, I'm with the Sacramento L5 Society and we're doing uh, test motors uh, using hydrogen peroxide and kerosene. This is our uh, test motor down here. It consists of three segments. There are three bulkheads. Bulk bulkhead number one is used uh, to fill the rocket with uh, compressed nitrogen. Bulkhead number two is used uh, to hold the pressure regulator and fill the rocket with hydrogen peroxide and kerosene. And bulkhead number three is uh, consists of the injector pl plate that feeds directly into the combustion chamber. And uh, how long have you been working on this project? Oh, I've been working on it for a couple of years. Um, there's a lot of machining work. Uh, the rocket is made out of aluminum and 304 stainless. It's a modular rocket. You can uh, essentially screw the rocket together. If you want to make the rocket larger, you can uh, just remove the, uh, the, the uh, tanks and extend the length of the rocket by increasing the size of the tanks. Okay, let's start the, the back of the motor here, um, and we'll just go step by step what we got going here, okay? Okay, this is bulkhead number one. Uh, this is where you load it. Uh, this is a device you use. You load this, and uh, then you snap off the, the fill valve. It has a pressure relief valve here on the the side to relieve the pressure in the chamber in case uh, the pressure in the chamber becomes too high. And then bulkhead number two uh, is used to fill the, um, the two tanks here. Uh, the center tank, they're concentric tanks. Uh, the central tank is kerosene and the outer tank is hydrogen peroxide. And you also have a pressure regulator in here that reduces the chamber pressure, uh, the pressure on the tank the pressure on the uh, kerosene and hydrogen peroxide from 1200 psi to 600 psi. Then the third bulkhead is the injector plate. Um, I haven't drilled the holes yet here but there will be uh, 20 holes to, uh, to allow the kerosene to go into the motor. These are for the hydrogen peroxide and this also screws into the, um, into the uh, tanks here and then this is the combustion chamber. And the, the innovative thing about the rocket is, is that it has a splash plate, but the splash plate is filled with a solid propellant called cast micrograin. And after you pressurize the rocket, the solid propellant uh, uh, is not, uh, the solid propellant uh, stops the peroxide and kerosene from entering the combustion chamber. So in order to make the, the motor work, you ignite it, you burn out the uh, solid propellant in the, the splash plate here, and then once you do that, the peroxide and kerosene enter the chamber and it's a self-sustaining reaction. So no catalyst is needed. Very interesting. Yeah. And so the, uh, the pressure goes from 1,200 PSI to 600 PSI. The combustion chamber pressure is about uh, 400 PSI. That high? Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll tell you what, this is a really interesting motor. I'd love to see this on thing, uh, video fire sometime. And I see that you did fire one down here. Yes. And uh, tell us the results about that. Uh, the results of this motor, this is my first attempt. It produced 140 pounds of thrust for 10 and a half seconds. And um, it, there was a breach in the uh, rocket motor uh, when it was initially fired but it's still held together and uh, the specific impulse of the motor was 160 yeah that's even even with a huge hole in the combustion chamber well i'll tell you what it's a really interesting project i'm definitely going to watch this more i you know i've heard about you guys and uh i see what you're doing now and i understand it and uh fun stuff mm -hmm. you're going to give me the bug to burn some more proxy Oh, oh. <laughs> <What was that? laughs> uh, yeah, uh, we'll probably, it's not quite machined out, uh, we'll probably do a, a static test uh, maybe uh, this spring. All right, good luck. Yeah.